Altma created the Thought Leadership Award so that we could recognise firms that were doing something different in this changing legal landscape. By shining a spotlight on their achievements, we showcase what's possible and hopefully inspire them to innovate in their own practices. Law firms need to innovate in order to remain relevant in a rapidly changing legal environment. Our clients are demanding better value and are no longer loyal to one firm for life. Advances in technology are transforming the way that we deliver legal services, so innovation is essential for firms to thrive in this environment. So this is really quite an audacious project and the ultimate goal of it is to change the way that humans resolve conflict. And so to make that possible, what we've done is created a new type of technology which we've called the Consensus Accelerator. Uh, this enables people to come to agreements in areas that have legal and financial complexity in timeframes that were just never possible before. And so on top of the Consensus Accelerator, we've built a collaborative divorce platform. Uh, and that enables separating couples to create divorce settlements um, which are high quality and court sanctioned uh, from anywhere in the world. So unless you've been living under a rock recently, you'll probably know that the family law system is in a bit of a state of crisis. And I think there's some much deeper problems at play here than the current review can actually deal with. And the reason for this is there's a huge chunk of the population who don't actually participate in the family law system at all. So the Institute of Family Studies did a comprehensive longitudinal study into post-separation parenting and property. And what they found is that 71% of Australians do post-divorce property settlements with no access to legal advice. That's appalling. It also showed that the average time to get to a property settlement is between one and three years. And so this is really a huge access to justice problem. And it's a problem of the missing middle. So those who don't qualify for legal aid, but can't afford lawyers, or choose not to afford lawyers. So put some numbers around that. In the next 12 months, there's gonna be 70,000 married and de facto couples who separate in Australia. And about just under half of those will have between half a million and three million dollars in assets. And of those, about 23 and a half thousand are going to do a property settlement with no legal advice. So that's 47,000 people every year, many of whom will not benefit from the provisions of the Family Law Act many of whom will be women who get majority care of the children and then live in poverty on diminished incomes uh, with no super. So a better court system isn't going to help these people because they're not participating in the family law system at all. Meanwhile, on the other side of the fence, family law remains one of the most difficult areas of practice with the highest rates of burnout. And although many family lawyers have embraced the idea of collaborative practice, in reality, real collaborative matters are about as common as unicorns. So this project seeks to address these access to justice issues, as well as the role that lawyers have in solving them. So the Consensus Accelerator uses advanced mathematics, an artificial intelligence model, and input from human lawyers. And so what we do is we begin by helping the separating couple to agree on their property pool. Then they get advice from independent lawyers. Then we encourage them to explore as many options as they can, visually, in real time, with instant feedback from the consensus accelerator. So this really turns positional bargaining on its head. So instead of having you know, so starting with two positions, which you then spend a heap of money and time defending, we start with a blank canvas and then iterate rapidly. And so the Consensus Accelerator builds an advice model from the human lawyers, which then applies in real time two options as they're created and nudges the 
parties together to consensus in a way that preserves confidentiality and privilege. If someone goes outside of the legal advice or proposes an option that's not going to be financially feasible, the consensus accelerator guides them back in again. And so this is really about self-determination. It's not about machines dictating solutions to humans. It's about machines giving humans superpowers to navigate the legal and financial complexity which would otherwise paralyze them. And so once we have an agreement, we then submit that to the court in the form of an application for consent orders. So we've been testing and refining this with a number of real separating couples. And at the beginning of the project, we set ourselves a fairly ambitious goal of being able to get to legally sound, financially sound divorce settlements in an hour. And we didn't really know whether we'd be able to achieve that or if, if we could, how long it would take to get there. But at the moment, through our trials, our current average time to a settlement is 19 minutes, it's one nine. Uh, and all of these settlements are within the legal advice, are financially feasible for both parties and have been sealed by the court. And as exciting as that is, and it has, to be honest, been much more effective than we thought it would be at the beginning, uh, it's not actually about speed. It's ultimately about quality. And so you know, this is really about getting good legal advice for people letting them have collaborative, constructive conversations and for families to find positive ways forward. I think this has the potential to change the way that we do alternative dispute resolution and particularly the role that lawyers have in that. So all 14 trialist couples that we worked with had previously agreed and committed between themselves that they would not use lawyers. Uh, and, and yet they were able to embrace a collaborative process that connected them to good lawyers. And by taking the waste out of the, the process which normally happens in family law, we were able to get them from first conversation to signed consent orders in four to six weeks. And there's no reason why that can't become the norm. There's no reason why Four to six weeks can't be the average time it takes Australians to get to a property settlement, and one to three years can become the exception. So we've had great feedback from the lawyers who were involved in the trials, and they've been able to advise clients who they would never have had access to before uh, in a collaborative process, which is driven by their advice. I really see this presenting new career opportunities for lawyers as well, where you now have the option as a family lawyer to work exclusively with collaborative couples in a remote process from anywhere in the world. Uh, and that can be a really rewarding uh, new career, I think, for, for, the, for the area. So we want to make this available to all family lawyers who want to run a collaborative process with their clients. And it can pretty much replace where traditional mediation sits in the process. So we're hoping to run some commercial trials with lawyers soon. This project addresses one of the most pressing access to justice issues that we face in Australia at the moment. And it's one that has the biggest social impact. So this isn't a small tweak. We've gone right back to first principles here. And we've been able to create a technology which is world first, patent pending, and it's got some of Australia's leading legal academics excited. As an early stage startup, I think this also provides a template for legal innovation, where we have lawyers and designers collaborating to create surprising and holistic solutions that solve real human problems. LexisNexis gets involved with the Thought Leadership Awards because it's a great opportunity for us to see the amazing ideas that can come from across Australia and New Zealand in the legal market. Leveraging technology to operate a firm more efficiently, uh, leveraging new ways to structure a firm and finding ways to really bring uh, better outcomes for clients 
It's just an amazing opportunity for us to be a part of that. I've been doing it for about three years now, and the ideas every year just seem to be more um, outstanding and just really cutting edge.